Okay, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nagarjuna. I'm working as a software test engineer at uh, QA Engineers. Uh, in this video, I'd like to uh, explain a brief about uh, test case management tool, its benefits, and what it's used for. Uh, let's go in. Yeah, first, uh, let us start with what is test case management and its benefits. Uh, the test case management is like uh, managing the all the testing process, right? Starting from document documentation till uh, uh, test report, and it can be managed by any test cases, like with uh, automation or manual as with the both. And when it comes to the benefits, uh, it helps the team to be organized. As anybody expect any any company or any employee expect that we'll be having a documentation and should be then organized. And in that case, like. This test case management really help, helps in us to keep all the documentation and everything and everything will be like in an organized way. And all the stakeholders who are working under this project can be uh, informed along the same page. So for example, like uh, if a tester got a raise a bug and he can be able to uh, contact with the developer. And at the same time, if the developer is not uh, accepting that take or uh, taking it as a bug, so then the uh, tester can take it to the team manager or a project manager. So everybody they can come under this and they can uh, come take about the information and uh, chart with each other. And also uh, coming to the next, they can maintain and update the test cases. Uh, for example, like if a test uh, the product has been uh, tested a long time ago and again some of the, the same product some bug has been raises, rises now and the bug and the developer he has to take care of that so first he has to check whether what has been whether the same test case in test case what we have in real road and whether the same bug was raised or not a long time back so he can go back like all 10 years back to check out the test cases and uh, he can come to know why it is raised and he can take the action. And it is, as I said, it's easily accommodate in the changing requirements. In the last minute also, even if you change the requirements, it's, it can easily accommodate in this test case management tool. Uh, next, I'd like to uh, show you about some of the test case management tools. Uh, test link, test trial, test path, case, arrows, and so on. So most are like open source. So they have the we have the both depending upon the company and depending upon the project. So they'll be using the this, uh, one of this tool. So first, I'd like to explain uh, about the test link. So as I said, this is a more open source. So that is the reason it's been widely used. And the major reason is like uh, if you come if you learn test link. It, it, you can say it's a basic management tool or like a base management tool. So if you come to learn test link, so it will be easy for you guys to learn any other management tool. So it's mostly, mostly the uh, management and um, the tools is uh, like most are like same. Only will be the difference will be like uh, UI UX designing and but otherwise it's all the same. If you learn test link, so it will be easy for you to learn Bugzilla and Redmond and so on. Here, the user can uh, easily easy to create test project and document test cases. As I said, even earlier, the test link is having the, the major benefit in this is like we can create a test project and depending upon the project, we can create the test versions and the platform and even we can document the test cases and so on. Uh, later, it's, it's easy to integrate with many tra uh, defect tracking tools when it comes to the automation. So we need to we have the API track API keys to uh, transfer the uh, keys to the uh, other uh, de defect tracking tools. So in this case, test link really it's, uh, easy to integrate with uh, doing automation and uh, integrate with that, uh, uh, any any defect tracking tools, for example, Zero or Mozilla, any any tracking. Next, to filter the cases, uh, we have depends. Uh, we can e it's easy to filter the cases. Depends on uh, versions and keywords or test case ID. If you just want to go with version one or version two point zero, depending upon the project name which we have given, so you can easily you can easily filter the test cases. 
and the same as with the keywords and with the test cases ID for every test case they will be having an ID number. So according to the, depending upon that, we can easy to filter uh, which test case you want to go. Uh, uh, we are searching for. And it's easy to generate test plan and test reports in various formats. Uh, like I can say, like uh, we are, nowadays we have been using like different kinds of uh, windows. Like we have the Windows 10 and uh, Linux. And so we can any formats we'll be using uh, we can able to download the test reports in the format, for example, PDF or uh, Word or any kind. Even in the Linux, we have different type of format. So it's easily, easily uh, generate the test plan and in various formats. Uh, yeah, that was a brief about uh, test management tool and uh, in the test lane. That's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your time and patience. So see you in next video.